Dear ones, so breathe yourself in from the outer reaches into the center of your body and let your breath take you into your heart. Take another breath in with me. And as you exhale, feel your breath settling around your heart center just softly. And with each breath, that becomes a softer settling of the golden light of your own divinity. So that every time you breathe, breathing in, breathing out, you breathe in that peace of the divine you. That peace that comes from so far outside of you to settle in that beautiful core of your heart where the spark of divinity lives. And allow yourself to feel that as the perfect you. The you that is love. The you that is the divine presence. The you that is the I am. The you that is limitless compassion. Feeling that spark burning just brightly inside, knowing it's exactly, perfectly you. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The message is short, but profound. The process that you see here is not accepted as real. And so I speak to those right now who have a special dispensation of logic in their minds. <laughs> Where they have opened that which is a belief channel to include the potential of what you see. And if we could draw a picture of it for you, it is simple. For eons of time, you're used to one kind of thing, and this is not one of them. You build bubbles of belief that we have talked about before that are so strong and so structured that not only is this not acceptable, it's often frightening. And that is a paradigm that is being shattered. What you see here this day in this chair was commonplace for the ancients. There were some circles of elders who each of them in their own way had shamanic energy who would pass a stick which they called in many places the talking stick or the freedom stick sometimes. Common to so many of the tribes that have never even met each other. Where as they passed the stick to the next elder, he would take a breath and go into trance and channel. <laughs> He would tell of the tribe of the things to come, of the potentials of the day sometimes. In the process, he would even weep. Not a, not a very good sign of strength 
but acceptable in the circle. A connection with the earth that only an elder and a shamanic energy was allowed to have. This was their priests. The ones who could speak to God. In later years they paid the price for that because even the tribes knew they could do this and they became outcasts. Often living alone at the outskirts of the village. And I want to tell you dear human being who sits in front of me. That's why you're a hermit. And you know who I'm talking to. Because that was your safe zone. You didn't have to do readings. You didn't have to do healings unless you were called upon. You didn't have to answer the hard questions. If you could be alone and remove yourself from the rest of society. Even back then it was safe. Many did not have partners. Even that was too much. For the partner would be attacked. You were different. You were odd. You were strange. And you were also the healer. <laughs> and the wise man. Does this ring a bell to any of you? Can you search your Akash and feel this? Because an old soul who sits in a chair in 2015 has a high potential that you've been there and done that. Sometimes it actually affects the lifetime you have in negative ways. Do you know anybody who you are absolutely sure has shamanic energy and profound wisdom and they deny it. And they don't want anything to do with a meeting like this. They will never go to hear a Chandler. And I will tell you the reason is because they've been through it and there's a part of their psyche which is afraid of it. Because of what happened the last time they did it. Good people, compassionate people, they just don't want anything to do with spiritual things. These things start to make sense and they're common. Channeling is correct and proper when done with compassion, with integrity and understanding. What you see here in this chair is a very old style of channeling. And it's going to go away. The idea of coming to a place where you meet and listen to any human being in a chair give you information someday will be laughed at. Belongs with the buggy whips. Because you will have it internally. And you're not going to have it like you see it. You're going to have an intuition developed system wide that is natural that comes from your DNA that allows the innate of your body to know everything who you are where you came from it opens your Akash when you're born you will remember it. you're here again my partner has shown evidence of this on the screen of children reading without lessons. Hand-eye coordination because you're remembering what your old system used to do, walking early. The children have already begun the process of what the animals on the field have always had, which you call instinct. We've told you before that you can have a beast on the field born running with the herd in hours and even knows what the enemy smells like and a newborn human baby is helpless. There is a block that has always been there because your DNA is not operating at full capacity and now is the opportunity for change. What is coming in space, what is coming naturally what is coming that the Mayans saw with their new calendar, what the ancients saw. We have a Hopi master here. He knows where it is ancient. The prophecy that a day would come where humanity 
would finally, finally start to have the wisdom of the ages. That's the prophecy that we speak of. Not new, but old. So it's the new old age, isn't it? <laughs> A return to common sense, spirituality that is independent of prophets, men, women. And they would be the first to agree if they could be on this stage. And if we said, what do you think? They would say, it's about time that you understood that everything they did was to show you what was possible. Everything. And the channeling that you hear now, the idea of sitting in front of a master, is not the way of it. You'll be your own master and you will be comfortable with it. There have been those who would laughed at this and they said it'll be chaos. Chaos. Everyone will have their own religion. <laughs> What an old biased paradigm this is of the way humans work. You know what's going to happen if more and more humans have a DNA which is receptive to who you really are? The first thing that must happen and will happen over time, and not gracefully, I might add, peace on earth is not the goal. Peace on earth is not the goal. It's the beginning. <laughs> you have to have that to move forward and you will. Truly. The cycles of humanity will be redefined. We said it before, there'll be a time when you look backwards and call it the barbarian age. When human beings looked at one another and killed each other for resources. How quaint. This is the potential that we see and we look for in its slow. And what makes you special, dear ones, is that you're here for the transition. In other words, the hard work. Are you up for it? Information is going to be presented today that is beyond your expectations of the paradigm that you've come from. You may not be ready to hear what is presented or to accept what you see. I'm going to make a request, old soul, of everyone in the room. A request that I make over and over. It's been recorded and written for 20 years or more. What harm does it, what harm does it do to you to open your heart? And that part of your mind which has the intellectual trap on it. And drop them for a few hours. Drop them. So that what goes in can be accepted without bias. Without you trying to analyze it. Without that part of you deciding whether it's right or wrong. Let it go in so it can be judged if you need to at a later time. Through your heart. If you don't like it, you can put your parameters right back, put the trap back, put the bubble back, and walk out of the room just like you came. That's your free choice. Or not. For if you allow for a few hours an expansion of your belief, you'll walk out of this room changed forever. That is what we ask. Why not? What have you got to lose to absorb something that is grand, unbelievable, and is the new reality? I'll be back. And so it is.